Hello everybody, today is February 5th, 2016. I wanted to share a few things with you. I've been reading this book here and watching this video. I wanted to recommend this video highly. It's the latest interview of Hugo Salinas Price by Greg Hunter. And so I wanted to show you that here. Um, he shows this graph of the World Central Bank Reserves and how as of August 2014 they peaked and they've been falling over a trillion dollars. Uh, this was 1948 to 2014. It was rising almost like a hockey stick. I don't know. Here you go. And then the last 16, 17 months has been falling. He's been tracking this about 20 years himself. He said that something broke there, or a change in in sentiment, basically, uh, as of 2014 in August. So, highly recommended video. I'll put a link down below. I also wanted to talk about this book that I'm reading here. Uh, let me switch this around. Oh, wait, before I show you the book, I wanted to show you something up here, which is really cool. I just put these up. I've had them put away since I moved. And those are my great-grandparents. Those were done in 1900 in San Francisco. And that's my grandpa over there. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Those are pretty cool paintings. They're almost like photographs slash paintings. And let me see if I can do this here without dropping it. And if you look at this here, taken January 1900 in SF. So those are pretty cool. I'm happy that I ended up with those. And so over to the book. Uh, I wanted here. to share this here. This is Aftershock. Protect yourself and profit in the next global financial meltdown. Why would I be reading such a thing? Well, <laughs> before I share this, which I was going to share, let me go over here. And um, we'll pick out, let's see here, we'll pick out America's Bubble Economy. This is by the same authors. This is their first book, written in 2006, where they laid out the 2008 financial crisis, the 2007 uh, bubble collapse that we had in housing. I mean, they, they laid it all out here. I read this in 2006. And then I this is a follow-up book they had. Um, I think this was, I don't remember, 2011. 2012. Let me see. Now I'm curious. Yep. That one was 2011. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Here's another book. Peter Schiff's book laid out the 2008 crisis. I mean, these aren't happy books to be reading, but you can't have your head in the sand. I mean, I'm, these books are totally contrarian. They're not what you get on the mainstream news with the cheerleading, that everything's great. But you got to remember that there's been trillions of dollars printed up and tens of trillions borrowed. So, yeah, I mean, things seem okay when you're borrowing and spending so much money. Um, demise of the dollar, collapse of the dollar, dollar meltdown. This is all coming, everybody. Uh, a lot of people can't see it the day the dollar crashes. A lot of people can't see it, but that's still coming. Um, so, anyway, we could maybe go over some other books sometime. So, over to this, this book says, here. This recovery is 100% fake, which it is. And I just wanted to point out this. I'm only at the end of chapter one, but I just got this the other day. I picked it up. Massive money printing. Along the way, if you're ever tempted to think that all is well, just remember these four damning facts. Massive money printing 
We've quad, we've quint, quad, we've quintupled the monetary base, keeping the stock, bond, and real estate bubbles afloat. That's what a lot of people, I'm sorry, why won't this focus? All right, here we go. Massive money printing. We've quintupled the monetary base, keeping stock, bonds, and real estate bubbles afloat. That's what a lot of people won't acknowledge or they don't understand or they just don't know. The amount of money that's been printed up. And then massive money borrowing. We owe a staggering $19 trillion now. This is written in last year. It says $18 trillion. $19 trillion. It'll be $20 trillion by the time Obama leaves office. So he doubled... The, the national debt, the current national debt, not the unfunded liabilities with Medicare and Social Security. I know that's in the hundreds of trillions, but just the current debt is unsustainable. With raise, rising interest rates, it's unsustainable. Low GDP growth, we're growing at only 2 to 2.5%, two to which means the government's borrowing almost as much as the economy's growing. And then the pitiful... Income growth, real wages have been essentially flat for decades. I was just talking to with my wife about that today, talking about the last housing bubble. You know, we're right back where we were in 06, 07. You know, my dad's house is worth half a million again in the Bay Area as built in the 1950s. We're right back where we were. In 2006, 2007, you know, we're right back where, where we were when I read these books here. Let me see, where are these? Right here. You probably can't see it too well. The Coming Crash in the Housing Market, right there, written in 2003. Read that. Laid out where how to profit from the coming real estate bust. I mean, that's not something that a lot of people want to be reading. I mean, I was telling people I was reading these books, and they're like, oh, well, no, everything's fine. You know, housing market's been going up for 30 years, so it'll keep going up. So anyhow, I wanted to recommend this book, Aftershock, if uh, you hadn't seen that. I wanted to recommend the video that I'll put a link to. And that's about it. Uh, take care, everybody. I'm working on oh, I'm working on a couple different a follow up to my central banks acquiring gold video, which has 144,000 views now. I'm working up. Uh, I'm working on a following up video to that part two, which is on gold repatriation. I'm. Not sure when that's going to be coming out. Uh, Venezuela with their thousand percent inflation, working on that. Something with the up in Canada. Um, I got lots of stuffs in the works, but I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to get out. I have notes on tons of stuff. Um, I just wanted to put something out there tonight because I have so many things in my mind. Of course, I was watching the market today. And I saw the dollar fall the most it had fallen in in two days, like in the last seven years. And the markets are continuing to crumble, which I think is just going to continue. And I think we've seen the bottom in gold and silver. I've thought that before, and they hammered it down again. I don't know. They could hammer it down again. Things just seem to be, the tide seems to have turned at this point. Of course, I could be wrong. They could hammer it down again. That's just how it seems once again. I seemed that way to me before, but... This could be the year things really start to fall apart. I expect negative interest rates. I expect the Fed to come out with QE4 or 5, whatever the heck we're on now. Um, I expect more money printing and negative rates. They, they have to keep the boat afloat, and the only way they can do that is with more stimulus. And So that's just what I see coming. But anyhow, that's about it for now. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.